Oh, I'm about to done. And I got an update. Uh, it's of course Pride Month, so uh, we just have to get through this month until July, so. Uh. But I'm here to to say it's mostly my outrage about what's been happening. God. About five years ago, something like this would have been illegal, okay? Dragging your kids into a drag show and then making them dance with the drag queens and then giving them tips while them wearing like them, I don't know, them, the feathers and the fritters and they have very suggestive things in the background. And in some shots I saw there was kids as young as five in them. Five years old, for God's sake! Do you have any idea how disgusting that is? I mean, it, they were forced to give them tips. I mean, this is just, this is just disgusting. It just brings a black slimy feeling in my core that made me just want to ugh. it just made the um uh just made me, made me want to vomit and and and, the, and they are all forced to wear this woke stuff I I don't, I don't understand it it's disgusting I don't understand that's disgusting and vile I am, and I am promptly outraged from it. And so, so, and so, so out of you. Imagine if that was your niece or nephew that was dragged out of school and forced towards grown people, grown men in drag, expose their bodies like that to a bunch of, some of them were even babies. They were in those little front pads or back pads or slings or whatever these new hips that people use instead of just holding them normally. Like baby said, they had some slings and the back pads and that. Anyways, they were. It was. This should be illegal. For God's sake, this should be illegal. These kids should know about the ABCs, one, two, threes, and learn do not lick that doorknob. And do not put that pencil in your ear. And how to hate Jamie, 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 don't pull her hair. No, 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 Jamie, like that. Simple thing that, that, that when you're in preschool. These, peop these people are obviously listening to the idea to bring their children into pride parades. It's disgusting and vile. That stuff should not be told to them until they are at the proper age. Because at that age, their minds aren't even fully developed yet. In fact, it takes until someone is like 24 years old until they even begin to know what that type of stuff means. You know, it takes 24 years or something like that until the human mind is fully developed. And at that young age, they are very impersonable. And I mean very impersonable. And that, in 20 years time, it just does not lead to a nervous problem. Okay, it tells me if history has ever taught anything, is that most most evil, despicable, corruptible, you know, fully insane people aren't always like that when they're like that. It normally starts out when they're young, you know, when their minds are very numb and they don't know anything yet. It suddenly happened in the, in Germany in the thirties. We have a certain Austrian painter who had a very similar type group like this where they would instead of teaching children proper things like one, two, three, A, B, A, B, C's and many other stuff, they put them in these rallies, they them go on these marches, and had their insignias and and their wrists and, and armbands. Something like this happening now, and I don't think it's a good idea. These children are our future. We should not try to force our ideas on them. Teach them the basics until they reach the proper age. Because then, 
when this type of stuff is gone and when their you know their woke teachers are gone, they're just on a following line like a certain pro military group did in the thirties, which is not good. And after what happened in Texas, this is the last thing that children should be exposed to. A good thing that you have some people who still have a brain and are, are going to outlaw this. Because this is changing, this is a child endangerment, and also, this is a kind of form of, um, I forgot the term, I forgot the term, not child endangerment, more like. Uh, I forgot the term. And my mind is just wrapped into this whole facade that the people try to force upon us. Like, how it's good for this happening. But then they won't be so bigotry. When I was their age, I wanted to become like Batman because I, I saw it on a video game. I, but then when, when I turned like, you know, nine. It would fade away because it's just a fad. Just because a, ch a kid, like a boy or a girl, wants to dress up like something else, doesn't mean that they don't, doesn't mean that they actually want to be that thing. It's make believe. It takes too far and it leads to more violence. And a lot of these mental disorders that they keep trying to promote as good things, while 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 at the same time try to treat fake mental diseases. It's funny, really. They want to downplay normal mental diseases, you know, like schizophrenic, or you know, being insane. But they want to create new mental disorders that are somehow worse than, you know, someone like Charlie Manson or all over the You know, the one guy that you remember the word, you know. It really shows that we should have kept the insane asylums operating because the moment we shut down these insane asylums it's when we see our, it's when we saw all of this idiocy in our in our country mostly going on in our courts That's disgusting. Bloody disgusting. Disgusting. No, 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 no. The last message I have to say for all of you is uh, pray. At least pray. And hope to God something good comes from this. You must stay patient about this type of stuff. All I can really see, and that's all I have to say, really. I'll be the done.